Hey guys, welcome back to Kali J's Kitchen. In today's video, I'll take you guys in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how to prepare this escabeach saltfish. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Go ahead and tell your friends, tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one. And also on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. So what I did first, I went ahead and just washed off my saltfish on a summer in water so that the ex we can get rid of the excess salt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and soak my saltfish. So basically, I am soaking my saltfish because I'm going on the road, so you know I'm not going to have a much time to boil it. So I'm going to soak it for about three hours to three and a half hours. All right. I know some person is going to ask, can I boil my saltfish? Yes, you can go ahead and boil your saltfish to get rid of the excess salt. All right. So what I did, just went ahead, placed the saltfish in a bowl, and then I just placed some room temperature water over it just to cover it, and then I just placed some cling wrap over it and just put it to the side and this is what it looks like all right so guys this was about after about four hours or so i just came in and i decided to start making my escabi sawfish so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and just remove the scale from my saltfish. I also, when I came home, I went ahead and just pour off the water that uh, my saltfish was soaked in and just kept some new water, all right? So, we just wanna get rid of all of that scale and sometimes, you know, you might miss one or two, but that is okay, that's totally fine, all right? Guys, remember to be creative. Remember to be you in the kitchen and utilize whatever you have at home, all right? All of these ingredients that I'm using today, you can always get them at your local supermarket or grocery store. We also want to go ahead and remove any bone from our saltfish, although that is impossible as well. You know, you're not going to get rid of all of the bone in your saltfish, but you know, just get rid of all of the obvious ones, all right? So, my saltfish is nicely rinsed and all of that goodness. So, I'm going to use a napkin to just pat dry my saltfish. You want to get rid of some of that water from the saltfish because, listen, if you place a saltfish in the hot oil with the water, then, you know, the oil might just pop up and burn you and cause an accident and you don't want that to happen to you, all right? So, now that my saltfish is all pat dried and nice, so I'm going to go ahead and just slice up my saltfish in the desired size that I want it to so if you don't want your saltfish too big or too small it's up to you what you want so I think medium size is perfect for me and while I'm doing this I'm gonna try to just remove any bone that I see all right I also have my frying pot on the stove with some vegetable oil that I'm gonna fry my saltfish in and you guys can always go ahead and use olive oil because i know some persons do like that um vegetable oil business so it's all up to you again guys just be creative all right just be you in the kitchen and utilize whatever you have at home all right so this is my saltfish so now it's time to go ahead and start frying i also went ahead and make up my escobie sauce and i will leave a link for the escobie sauce in the description box so go ahead and check that out so basically all i use in the escobie sauce was some carrot i also use some granulated sugar Sugar. I also use a small amount of pimento seed, some onion, and I always try to use bell peppers and white vinegar, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and fry my saltfish, as I said earlier. And you just want to just take your time and place your saltfish in the hot oil, and you don't want that to spill and burn you. Again, ensure that your saltfish is dried properly all right so we're just gonna fry this for roughly about seven minutes three and a half minutes on each side i want my saltfish to be golden brown on both sides all right so now that my saltfish is all fried on one side what i'm gonna do i'm gonna flip it over on the other side and allow the other side to fry as well and again we want the other side to be golden brown 
So we're just going to allow this to fry. And I turn my stove on medium heat, all right? I don't want to turn up my stove on high because I don't want my saltfish to burn up, all right? So I'm going to serve this up with some plantains. And you guys can always go ahead and serve it up with whatever you have at home. Again, guys, it's up to you, all right? So if you have some cream potatoes or if you have some bummies or some festival, you can always go ahead and do so. So now that my saltfish, they're all fried golden brown, I'm going to go ahead and remove them. And I have a plate and a napkin, so I'm going to place it on the napkin because I want the excess oil to drain on the napkin. Then I'm going to serve it up and show you guys the final product of my Escovitch saltfish. Alright guys, I can't wait to show you guys the final product and I know you guys are going to love it so much, alright? So this is it guys, this is my fried green plantains and I'm just going to go ahead and just plate this up nicely and show you guys the final product. So this is my saltfish and as you can see, looking so lovely, golden brown. And this is the way, oh I like my saltfish. So once my saltfish is nicely plated, I'm going to go ahead and just pour the escovitch sauce all over it. And guys, it's up to you if you want to put your escovitch sauce all over your saltfish or if you just want to serve it up on the side. Really and truly, alright? Remember, you, you are the one that is going to eat this, alright? So guys, this is the final product of my escovitch saltfish. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope you guys go ahead and try it out. Guys, remember to turn on your post notification bell. Remember to subscribe to my channel and tell a friend, tell another friend about Kali J's Kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel. Again, guys, I just want to thank you guys and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for another awesome recipe. Bye!